The journey started almost a year ago when we were first in Future Lab, you know, and that's when the conversation started that we have to get this thing on the hill. We have to be here next year. I think we really started properly developing in January, and that's been a lot of work. We have an incredibly talented team, and you need one in order to do this type of event. You know, a lot of them come with motorsport background. We've got mechanical engineers, electrical engineers, control systems engineers, we've got PhDs that are working here as well. So we're pretty covered with the skill set that we need in order to do this run. If you opened up the hatches on the top of the car, you'd look at it and say, what is going on? Because there's so many computers, like sensors, uh, ECUs in there, all doing individual tasks that have got a purpose, be it looking, using LiDAR, so laser, laser vision, so seeing the boundaries, seeing trees, humans, other cars, uh, to cameras, to seeing drivable space, so is that grass, is that tarmac, um, ultrasonics, radars. We're basically creating a human to go inside it, but with software. Just like Formula One does, it pushes technologies for road cars at the moment. The whole idea of Rebel Race is to do that same thing but for autonomous cars. We're getting very close to the hill climb. Uh, I think we've got one more day of testing before we do the run in public and that's really the key moment. You know, being able to execute in front of the public as we've done at the Formula E events but doing that at Goodwood is a very special moment. The morning of the first hill climb, I think it's just going to be crazy, exciting. Um, everyone's going to be on their edges and their toes. Um, we're confident mechanically, everything's going to run smooth, and we're going to amaze a lot of people that day. So on the morning that the car does its first run, um, I'll be sat in the support car, and once all the systems are up and running, yeah, press and go. My hand will be shaking. <laughs> this is the first time in front of so many people we'll run with Robocar. And for us, it's a very special moment. It, it, it really does feel something completely different. And I think you know, seeing that reaction from the public, that's gonna be the, the moment for us.